Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's understand what colliders are for. So a collider is pretty much an object which is basically, it stops it going through other objects. So if we take this green cube up here, for example, we can see if we zoom in, we actually have a green outline, quite a prominent green outline underneath the orange selection outline. And this green outline is known as the collider. And that is a component right here. If we were to untick the box collider, the green line would remain, but it would be a faint green line. And all this means is that if we had a character, for example, we'd be able to pass through this particular object. Now, if we re-enable the collider and tick is trigger, the same would occur. Now, a trigger on a collider basically means that we're able to kind of pass through it. But when we do pass through it, it activates a trigger. And that's where coding comes in. So it's just worth keeping in mind that a trigger is just that. So the collider can come in many different forms. And if we click on add component and go to physics, we could add a mesh collider. We could add a capsule collider. Generally, it's worth noting that adding a mesh collider and ticking convex may put extra strain on the game itself, simply because the mesh collider will try and attach one face of a collider, which is basically that right there. It will try and attach one face of a collider to every try that is within your object. And what is a try exactly? Well, if we go to our axe right here and zoom in. Now, originally, this is several objects kind of pieced together but the object itself has a different shape than just a normal cube. So for example, if we go to add component, go to um, physics down here and click on mesh collider and then tick convex, you can see just how this is changing, how it looks. You can see there's many, many different ways of having a collider on there. It's doing it all different kind of ways. Now that is unpractical with such an object like this. There is no point to it so you may as well remove it and add just a simple box collider it gives the exact same effect just less work for unity to do and as i said there are different types of colliders that you can have and just depending on what type of object it is you would have all of those colliders so colliders are also used for physics as well and physics are kind of important within unity but that's something for another tutorial so whether you're working with a simple object like a cube or whether you're working with a more complex object like this axe, for example, you would have to determine what kind of um, collider you would want to go for rather than just sticking with a box or rather just sticking with a mesh collider. It's definitely worth looking into which one is going to be the most proactive for your game. So colliders, they are a lot simpler than what people think. And if you want to know any more, guys, please leave a comment below and don't forget subscribe click the bell icon and you can stay up to date with all the content that i have on this channel because there's so much for you to learn guys so much for you to learn and i will see you around thank you very much for watching